Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we have the huge topic about the, mm, our panels. So we already did uh, our curtain wall, we already know how to create our custom column, but we still don't know how to create uh, panels like this, but not in place. So we no one create like some unique panels. We want to create the panels which we can change after that. For example, now I can choose this panel and I can find here the same panels like this because this is my uh, model in place. So this is actually uh, wrong for this type of the panels, but if you need to change uh, something instantly, so you can do in this way. But anyway, we will create our panel right now. So, but first thing before I will go to the family, I should know which type the, of the family I should use. Let's choose this panel and as you can see curtain panel. So it means we should create family curtain panel wall. Let's go here new family and let's find metric curtain. Let's find it. Aha. Uh -huh. Metric curtain wall panel. That one what we need. Let's open. And I not will introduce you what you can see now on your screen. I uh, straight away will go to the exterior view and I will create some extrusion here. Uh, I will show you later on uh, what we have the, on the plan. So now I did my profile of extrusion and after that I just locking everything on my reference lines. So everything alright. Let's go now to the extrusion, uh, extrusion end. Uh, let's create parameter like th1. So th1. And let's uh, use it and let's create uh, the second parameter th2. th2. Okay, awesome. Uh, let's say okay and just some parameter for our materials. Like this, it's everything okay. Okay, so mm, we did uh, everything here. Uh, let's say okay. And as you can see, now I already finished. My panel is already finished. Uh, but you will say, uh, how come you didn't finish, uh, for example, uh, some dimension between uh, these lines? Uh, we don't need any lines, we don't need any dimension between the, this line, this reference lines. Because uh, in, um, in a curtain pa panel uh, thing, I mean in curtain panel uh, template, uh, it doesn't matter which dimension you will put here. Because our dimension will translate from our panel. So you can see here if I will changing here the, this uh, cut, uh, this is a uh, uh, curtain system grid, my panel will change immediately, size will change immediately. So I don't have any parameters to change the size of this panel. I'm using uh, for that uh, this uh, curtain grids. So the same thing with our, uh, with our family. Uh, if my panel, uh, if my curtain grids will be bigger, this line will be bigger. If it will be smaller, that one will be smaller. So the same principles. Okay, let's go back now to the uh, reference line or to the re <laughs> reference plane. So we are now on the plan view. And uh, you remember I said I will uh, introduce you what we can see here uh, later on. So now I will introduce you. Let's choose our panel. Our panel is here. Uh, and I will show you the one main thing. The main thing is uh, this extrusion end. It means this part. So from this line to that direction. Uh, okay, so the other thing as extrusion start, this is the uh, different thing. It's from here to this part. So uh, this one, it will be if you want extrude on the uh, interior side, you should write the minus 250. If you will write here uh, 550, you will extrude in this part. Okay, I think this is clear and you understand how it's working. But uh, anyway, I will show you now. Uh, I will show you now by the practice how it how it will be working. Uh, okay, so let's go back to the our properties, and I need one more parameter, and this parameter will be thickness. Okay, like this. Let's say okay. So everything all right. We have the thickness, and let's say I have one to thickness of my panel like 500 millimeters, right? Right. So that means 
If I want this is 500 millimeters and I want this is uh, for, for this panel uh, will staying uh, exactly on the middle. So on the middle this line, uh, you should what what you should to do. You should go to the t uh, the size th1 th2 sorry. Do like this divide by two and bracket and one more bracket here. Oh yeah yeah I know I didn't finish sorry bracket. But uh, everything alright, you will get here the positive number. So let's do uh, the same thing here. And as you can see, we get here again positive number. So this is wrong because uh, all um, the Revit now will try to make uh, two sides in one direction. So it means zero. So 200, 125 minus 125, so it will be zero. If I will say apply, now Revit saying to us, so this is too small, it means it's zero. Uh, we should get here the minus 125 or here 125. How we can do that? Uh, pretty easy, just uh, I think you all do remember uh, the school uh, math, so you should make uh, the uh, like. Uh, apply minus one here we will do apply just one just for just to understanding what's going on here and as you can see now here 125 and here minus 125 and if i will say apply now it's exactly on the middle thing yes of course you can use dimensions you can use dimensions with these things like this yes you can do it but if you want uh, become too parametric thing you should start from the small thing from small details now I show I'm showing you the small details of the huge topic uh, yes you can uh, cheat with the uh, dimensions and it's actually not cheating this is also the right view uh, right uh, way but anyway this is thing it's already you going to the parametric way so you now understand how it's working, let's say OK, and now if, for example, I will choose this panel and, uh, for example, I will, I will want, I want change here to 500 millimeters, you will see everything working and everything working uh, perfectly. Let's change back to 115, 250 millimeters and let's go back to the exterior view. So our panel we have, but we want to create the some holes, how, how to do that and how parameterize, parameterize our holes, we will see right now. To that one, I should go to the again to the family. So we will create family inside the family. Let's go to the family, and I don't remember how it's called. Uh, on the face, so I need a um, uh, metric uh, based on the face. Let's find it. It's somewhere here. It's too too many. Ah, based based on the face. So this one. Let's say okay. We are now uh, on the new family. Uh, let's go uh, straight away to the void forms. Let's use the void forms. And I will create something like this one. Oh, sorry. Not this one. This one. That one. And that one. Let's use TR to connect that. After that, I will use this one. And I will create here the radius like this, like this, and like this. So this is, will be my hole. Uh, not not any special thing. So here I will I will I want to create the I, I just want to see the my center of this thing. Here I want to see the, the center of this thing, and one more here. Now here I will be locked uh, size. Here I will be locked size two and here two. So I don't want to to, to changing my size the uh, size of the my this thing, and what I will create uh, else here. So uh, I need only the dimension. Let's find it. So here the reference line. Let's say OK. I will go to the create. I will use the reference line. Like this. And I need one more. Oh, sorry, not reference line. I will use the reference plane. One more here and one more here. Actually, better to use reference line, really. One here and one here. Okay, so I have to here now reference line. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So what else I need? I think nothing much. Oh, oh, 
yes, I need the extrusion. So let's make extrusion or mm, no, I not will do any extrusion. I will make it inside other family. Let's load inside our new family uh, here and let's place it on exterior view. Uh, where is it? Component family four and here we are. So let's use the common space bar to rotate it. I will go to the interior view again create component and I'm using the space bar to rotate it so okay and let's check the thing what I created yes this is working you can see now I can use dimension here but I don't see any line but I can uh, I can now use dimension for that one so let's use one dimension and let's use the second dimension here uh, for example, if I will choose the, my new uh, family, I can change the dimension here to 500 millimeter, and here also I make the 500 millimeter. Why not? Uh, let's go now to 3D view, and you can see this is placed not right side, not on the right side. Let's go to the reference plane, and now you can use, for example, common line. No common line here impossible because I didn't create any line here in between. Let's go and let's create it. And as you can see, I forgot here do two things. So when this line is like a orange or have the orange color, it means this line don't cut any geometry of that. So this is my was first mistake. Let's go to 3D view. Um, here, where is my model? Where is my model? I cannot see my model. So this is really bad. Let's go to new 3D. Aha, uh -huh, here this is my model. Uh, first, I will extrude it as much as, my, uh, as I want. For example, this is will be more than enough. Yes, of course, I can use some parameters, but for what? Uh, this, this is just the panels. You not will get like more than 2000 millimeters uh, thickness of your panel. So, okay, and the second thing, I need cut it. So let's join it. Uh, oh, sorry, let's cut it, I said. Let's cut it and we get uh, this hole. So let's load inside to the project again and overwrite everything. Uh, now I will um, go to the, to the create component and I will find my family. Let's go back to the interior view and again component and let's place it here. As you can see, we get it. Now I will use dimension. Let's lock this one and let's lock that parameter here. So it means if I will, for example, do this like this, it should be changed, but it didn't change. <laughs> let's try it. Ah, of course, because the number is not locked. Let's say I'll lock it. So now everything all right, as you can see. Uh, by this way, we can put as much as we want this uh, type of the things here. Let's use the one more component. For example, I want this component here and I will put it right this side. Uh, let's make it. Now I'm using the arrows to make some changes and I'll use again the eye. For example, from this line to this line, we will lock this distance. I remove constraint. No, I know an I remove constraint. And let's use, for example, for this distance of that. Also, I will do this one. Yes, yes, I know. Now let's try. As you can see, everything working. Of course, if you will do like this, it's not will working because this is too small. But if you want, you can uh, make the some parameters for that one. It's only up to you. Let's load inside to our project, our mess form. And here we are. Uh, so uh, my panel actually it's a bit bigger than this one. And if you watched to my previous videos, you can you already know uh, I did this building. It's uh, really small. Uh, sorry guys, it was my mistake because I don't have any drawings of this building. Actually, in internet I didn't find any uh, drawings, proper drawings of this building. Okay, I will unpin this panel and I will place this panel. As you can see, we get our panel uh, with uh, this thing here. We can place one more object here if you want. So let's uh, make it like this. Let's make like this. Let's choose this panel. And let's unpin this panel and use this family here. So this is possible used to here. And of course you can create some uh, nice uh, 
some nice uh, cutting uh, you can create nice and some nice thing and you can put here like a panel so it's only uh, the limitless only your imagination don't forget about this thing uh, I think for this tutorials it's already finished you know how to create all the kind of the parts of this uh, Zaha Hadid building and the next movie will already talk about the mm, some advanced things of the Revit I know you are asking me about that and I think this is uh, already time to show you some advanced things. The next uh, tutorial it will be about Navis work. Thank you guys and see you next time. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.